what? What are all these weird looking errors in my game? Syntax error, comma, expected, CS1026, bracket expected. What does all this mean? Hey everyone, Jonathan here from Wild Cockatiel Games, Unity Game Programming for Beginners, and today we're going to take a look at how to solve syntax errors and all these very similar looking errors. So if you have ever seen an error like this in your game, if you have one right now, let's go in and take a look at how to get that solved. Okay, before showing you the fix, I want to take you through how to read these errors because they're all very similar. You may not have the exact one shown on the screen, but if you know how to read it, it won't matter what the error is. As long as it follows this general format, you should be able to read and understand it and know what's happening and know how to fix it all the same. So uh, these are just the errors that were displaying there a moment ago. They look very scary, but really they all relate to one simple thing. Let's take a look at one of these errors in detail. And if we take a look at this, the first part of the error is just the file path of the script with the error. So this is telling me that in my assets folder, I have to look in three scripts under gameplay management controllers. Those are all my file, my file folders. And finally, I see that gameplay controller dot CS is the script with the error. Next, 854 comma 54. Well, this is the line number of the error, where the error is happening in my script. And 54, that's indicating the character number. So if you were to arrow over 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way from the start of the line, it's telling me I'm going to find that error at character 54. Error CS1513, you probably are seeing CS numbers. That's the error code in computer language. So it's telling uh, the compiler that this is the error code. Uh, it's not meant to be readable by humans, That's, but it is very easy for the computer to read a short string of numbers like that and know exactly what the error is. And finally, the squiggly bracket expected. This is the error code in human language. It's telling you that this is finally what this error is actually about. It is expecting to see a closing squiggly bracket in that place and it's not finding one. Okay, so we are now in my Unity script and we know that the error is occurring at line 854. So if we start scrolling down, but actually we can see right over here at the bottom where I'm circling my mouse, there's some red dots and that's telling us very quickly, this is where it's seeing a lot of errors. So if I scroll down there, we're going to see that indeed this is line 854. There is a bunch of things here with red squiggly underline saying, hey, this is not where this is supposed to be or something is wrong. And if we look at this very closely, we can see quite quickly actually that yeah, it's because there's a spelling error here in this for loop. Instead of fr, it should be for. And indeed, if I change that, I press control s and go back to unity, we're going to see that the errors have disappeared over here. So that's quickly how to find that and how to fix it. Now, as another example, if I was to delete one of these squiggly brackets per se and save that and go back to unity, I'm going to see that some different but similar errors have now appeared. Now we're getting CS0106, 0106, 0106, which are very, very similar. The modifier public is not valid for this item, uh, private is not valid, and then we're getting a final one here, uh, error CS1513, squiggly bracket expected. And that's saying that's happening at line 903. So it's actually, it, it is a big deal, right? You're deleting one single squiggly bracket and it's causing errors all the way from here basically until the end of the script because it's missing that squiggly bracket or it's it's like what's this public method doing here what's this public method you haven't closed off that other one and another way of just uh, quickly getting to here and even up here it's causing some additional errors and this is all because of that one squiggly bracket but if I was to uh, double click on, say, this line, which is saying is happening at 903, it's going to quickly take me to line 903. Now, we know that the error is not caused at line 903, but this is where it is uh, running into another error. So it's taking us right to the very end of the file, even though we know that the, the error is caused because of this missing squiggly bracket up here. But if we notice, we can track this and trace this and, and look and we see, well, this error is happening at line 867, 879, 886, 896. So maybe we should just start at the beginning and click on this top one and uh, see, okay, well, this there doesn't seem to be any squiggly errors above here, except for this one way up here. And 
we know, we can just quickly take a look and say, well, it looks like oh, maybe there's something missing here. Let me put an extra squiggly bracket in, and we can say that that has been fixed. By the way, one more quick thing. If you suspect that maybe it's something like you have an extra squiggly bracket or uh, one too few, you can press Control F, and you can actually just type that in here and do a search for this. Uh, so clicking this would say find next, but we don't want to find next. We want to find all of them. And then we can scroll down and we can see that we have 132 squiggly brackets opening. Delete that. Uh, redo the search. Find all. And now it's finding all these. And we can say, oh, we have 132. So we have, we know we have 132 opening and closing. Uh, that's not the problem. Right now there aren't any problems, so we're not going to find any discrepancies. But you could uh, just do that quickly to very quickly determine if you have a matching number or not. Okay, I think that is all for this video. I hope this helps solve any problems you have. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a message in the comments. Thanks very much for watching, and good luck in your game development. Take care.